Hello everyone, welcome to a Let's Play of XCOM UFO Defense with me, Epioch. Actually, you can call this UFO Enemy Unknown if you'd like also. Actually, more specifically, this is Open XCOM. Same game, just a, uh, a well, a modified version that comes with a whole bunch of awesome. Uh, so anyways, uh, before I start, I'm going to apologize about the last Let's Play I started uh, with the new XCOM, Enemy Within. Um, copyright issues, although I could have, you know, beat them out and start up my series. College uh, starts very soon, in a little over a week. And I, I wanted to have a good series mostly done before then, and I didn't want to deal with copyright issues if I didn't have to. So we're doing this. So anyways, uh, enough of that blah blah blah, let's jump right into this. Uh, before we start with the new game, uh, I just will show you a few things with OpenXCOM if you know nothing about it compared to the old version. This adds many 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 UI options and you can change a lot more settings. Um, primarily uh, before you weren't able to ch change up display resolution or you had display filters and all this other stuff. Um, some of the audio controls, uh, su such as the sample rate, you can change, so on and so forth. The, wo the one that we'll look at here, most important for me, is some of the in-game options. And I'll show you which ones I pick. There's a lot here you can choose, uh, but we're just going to focus on a few. Um, the one important one is the custom initial base. Something that used to bug me about it, how you'd start your first base and it'd be set up the shitty way where... Well, for defensive purposes, with your frickin' hangers all over the place. Uh, like eight points of frickin' entry. Uh, so this is nice. You can set up your base the way you want to for your first one. Um, and then the... Let's see. Uh, inventory stats. Really nice for just an inventory uh, or looking at stats while you're in the inventories. Um, the enhanced soldier sprites make your soldiers look a little bit better. They all don't look the same now. Um, instant grenades, which allows you to, they don't have to wait till the end of the turn for them to explode, which I love. Um, and then the auto end battle, kind of nice. Um, I did do allow Psy capture, so I can actually win a battle if I just Psy control everything. I don't know if that's ever going to come into play, but you never know. We'll see how psychic my people become. Um, override line of sight, uh, I absolutely love because there's many times where you can just control attack a wall where an alien's on their side. They'll shoot through the wall in the first blast, and the second or third blast from the auto fire will uh, get to the alien and kill it. It's, it's helped out. Um, the other one is that uh, um, this TFTD stands for a tear from the deep, which was, uh, an, I shouldn't say an expansion, but uh, another game of this type that was like UFO defense, but it involved water and the ocean. Um, their damage formula was 50 to 150 percent vice the 0 to 200, as you can see below there. It explains what it does. Uh, I like the guaranteed damage over the extra damage that the original had. It's just I would rather at least do something than nothing. Um, and then the other one is alien bleeding before you couldn't allow there was no fatal wounds on aliens which I always thought was stupid. Uh, so now that will happen. Aliens will bleed out possibly. Which can actually hurt you if you're trying to capture aliens without the standard uh, um, stun or, or what is it stun rod and the stun bombs whatever they're called so anyways that's enough of that let's get in and start the game up um we're gonna do a new game uh i i was originally gonna do a because i've been playing this like crazy since i've decided uh not to do the the new XCOM because of copyright issues and I've actually started about pff, probably eight or nine games on veteran Iron Man and all of them well, one of them I'm still working on, and I'm, I could still win, but there's been some badness to it. Um, for for LP playing reasons, uh, playing on Iron Man is a little bit much, at least in the original game. On the new one, it's not bad. The new one's a, mo a lot easier than this game. It really is. Um, but we're just going to do this experience, because veteran and experience, there's actually a gap between them in difficulty that I've noticed. So we're not going to do Iron Man, we're just going to do experience, for this Let's Play at least. So maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do something later with a harder difficulty. So, uh, let's get it going. Alright, so let's find a place to set up our first base. Now if you notice, you can see these rings around where I'm pointing. That's new with this OpenXCOM also because you can see your radar ranges. The smallest one being the small radar, the second one being the large radar, and the outer one being the 
uh, quantum radar, whatever the hell it was called. I can't remember what it's called. Um, so anyways, usually I start myself in Europe. Um, but I think I'm going to go with North America this time. Uh, actually, I haven't started a game in North America since I started playing back up again in 2012, right before the release of the new one. So we're going to go with America. Um, let's see, let's zoom in just a bit. Now we want to make sure that we get a pretty decent coverage. Um, I'm not worried about the inner circle at the moment because I'm going to go right to large radar. Uh, let's try to get Alaska covered and get a chunk of South America. Um, and let's put it right there. That looks, yeah, that looks good right there. Make sure we get some East Coast in there too. Um, so bam. And for this name, um, I, I like it so I can easily identify where my bases are. I've used some cool, interesting names like Atlantis and Illyrius and some other weird names. But it makes it difficult to understand where my bases actually are in geographic terms. So I try to put names at geographic location. Like Europe, when I had my base in uh, Greece, I named it Olympus and it made it obvious where it was at. Um, but for this, we're going to go with the standard way that an old guide used to tell you how to do. Um, it was like set command, centcom. Um, we're going to do NACOM, so NA NACOM, and we'll do it in all caps. So NACOM, North American Command. All right, so that shall be our name. Yes, it's on original, but hey, it makes the game easier to play and understand. So, okay. Now, this is obviously the nice new thing. You can set up your own base. Now, we always focus our base on trying to keep it so it's one point of entry. Let's have our hangers all here on the left side. We'll have the rest of the base on the right side. So let's drop a hanger here, a hanger here, and one there. And then what will happen is you will have open space in between all this so that if the aliens do attack your base, the only place they can enter is through here and here. And it gives you that choke point. Nothing like the bottleneck technique. Alright, so let's set up everything else. We'll put the general stores there. Um, we'll put a workshop here, the laboratory, and then we'll do the living quarters there. Uh, and then we'll put the small radar there. Bam! There is our first base. Uh, now, the next thing that I always do when I start at my base is I go straight in and I start spending my money. Start spending it like crazy. Um, hmm. Let's do, uh, let's build our facility. Actually, before we even build facilities, because I've done this before, I forgot to do my research. We'll do research real quick. Now, for research, um, I've actually done it. I've always done laser weapons first, but I've tried doing it with doing some of these other ones. There's no reason to. Um, medikits aren't useful until you get armor because pretty much everyone gets shot until you get armor. It's going to be one shot kill. Very rarely does anyone survive long enough to even use a medikit. Motion scanners are great and useful, but right now they're not as useful. Uh, at least not as useful as laser weapons. So laser weapons, go right for it. Uh, specifically laser rifles, which will go laser weapon, next laser pistol, then laser rifle. Which I always thought was stupid. You had to get the pistol before the rifle, but eh, it is what it is. Start that project. Okay. Nothing to manufacture just yet. Now, back to build facilities. We will, um, I'm trying not to spend all my money at once. There's a few things that we are going to need. Uh, one of them is the living quarters. We are going to need the living quarters. Uh, so let's get our living quarters the extra one there we go right there and we will set up the next most important to me at least as far as I'm concerned is the large radar system getting that extra that extra big circle for your range is really nice because you're gonna wanna start detecting more and more you fools as quickly as possible because that's where you're gonna be getting a lot of your money in the first few months well I should say the second to third months once once money starts dropping off because you got so much expenses so we'll put large radar Let's put it right here. Um, I want to do alien containment. I really do. And I probably should do it now. But I think I might wait and hold off. Um, you're going to need it, obviously, for capturing aliens and to complete the game. Um, but really, I don't. Even, my research is so focused on other things. 
up until about close to the end of the second month that I really will never even need the alien containment until then anyways. And I'm not really trying to capture anything right off the bat. Um, well, unless I can get a psychic, well, someone with psychic ability so I can get my side labs rolling, but we're not going to do that. Um, just yet, because I want this extra funding. So we'll hold off the alien containment probably till after the first terror mission. Uh, so let's go OK. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to go right into equipping my craft and unequip some things so I can sell it. Uh, so let's go into my Sky Ranger and actually I'll probably adjust the interceptors. Not yet, but probably, probably after my first terror mission I'll adjust them a bit more. Um, and I'll get into that in a later episode. So let's go into, well not the crew, let's go into equipment. Now there's a few things I'm just not going to use in these first missions. Um, I've, I really don't use the rocket launcher, auto cannon, heavy cannon all too much, uh, at least in the beginning here. Uh, but I will at least use that the auto cannon. Um, not the AP ammo. I hate the AP ammo, but the auto cannon is nice. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell off the heavy cannon and all the ammo with it. I just don't use them. Some people do. Um, we're gonna fill up. We're just gonna put all the rifle clips and rifles. On our thing, we will not purchase. Once we get laser pistols and rifles, this will all get sold. Literally all of this. Rocket launchers, some people keep around for um, the first tear mission. Just in case you get the bad luck of getting insectoids with uh, um, whatever the discs are. I can't remember what they're called. Because um, these are the only things that really work against a disc until you get laser weapons. But I should get laser pistols. Before then, and laser pistols are even more effective than the rocket launcher. And just as experience goes, um, rocket launcher, in the five or six times I've used them, I've killed more of my own men with them than I ever have, primarily snapshots, than I have with actually killing aliens. Actually, I think I've only killed a couple aliens with them. Um, and then smoke grenades, I used to use a bit more, I just don't now. Um, I thought they would help for unloading that first time, but it, does, it seems like my guys get killed just as easily leaving the Sky Ranger with or without smoke, so I don't even bother with it anymore. Alright, so that is what we'll do there. Um, let's get the auto cannon on there, and we'll put just three of these just in case we do get a down UFO before I get the, the what do you want to call it, the explosive ammo, um, the HE ammo. So let's go OK. And let's go in, and we will sell all this. So, um, there's a few other things we might sell. Uh, well, we'll sell the cannon and everything when we reset up our stuff. Uh, the heavy cannons, sell those. Sell all of the ammo for this thing. Don't need any of it. Um, what's this? ACAP. Oh, whatever. Uh, so we sell all that rocket launcher. You can just get out of there. I'm not going to use you. And goodbye, smoke grenades. Um, and I think yeah, that's it for now for selling stuff. Not a lot of money, but hey, it's it's more money the merrier. Um, what else? Oh, purchase. We do need to purchase some stuff right at the bat. Uh, the first thing I would recommend spending your money on is personnel, primarily scientists. Well, and soldiers, engineers. You can probably get at the end of the month. Uh, you're not going to be really producing too much laser pistols, um, but otherwise, scientists is by far and large more important. So we'll get 15 of them. We don't got too much room here in the beginning. Um, we will actually let's pick up. Well, let's pick up one engineer, and there we go. So the we have four uh, room for 14 uh, people um, that we will put on there. So make sure that's all there. Um, the other thing I spend my money on, some people don't play with this, but I do, is I always get a tank. I just do. Um, time and time again, it saved me in the beginning, especially with the first terror mission, having that tank be the scout. Because it's got a lot more time units for movement, and it's just great for for doing that. So um, I don't usually use it too much later in the game. Now I think you need a minimum of at least 20, and we'll get up to, we'll get 40. I don't know how much we'll actually we'll just get and we'll get 35 for now um, so we'll do that uh, we don't need any of these right now and then the auto cannon aim uh, auto cannon ammo uh, we will get that and we'll just pick up uh, six of them we probably won't even use six 
I could probably get by with four, but they're only seven hundred dollars, whatever. Uh, let's get a handful more grades. I think I had nine or something like that. We'll throw in another ten. They're not that expensive. Uh, proximity grades is another thing I use for the most part. There's times where I have bought them and they just kind of sit in my inventory. There's times where I've used them quite a bit, um, especially in urban settings, trying to keep people from sneaking up behind you. Uh, so I do use them and I put them on every one. I usually give one. Uh, stun rods. Um, uh, I'm not gonna worry about stun rods just yet. I probably won't need them. Actually, yeah, we'll you know we'll pick up. No, we can't. We don't have enough store space. That sucks. Do we have enough store space for electric clears? Because we do. Damn it. What? Well, this is what we'll do. We'll reduce this. We'll reduce this down to eight. We don't need as many. Screw it. Um, we'll reduce this down to four. Cause we do need as many electro flares as possible. So there's our electro flares. Um, and actually we'll reduce this down a little bit too. Three should be enough. And let's get some more of these. Cause I do use the crap of electro flares. At least if our first terror mission is at night. Which it somehow always is. So, um, that is that. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. Oh, let's take a look. Well, no, we won't look at our soldiers uh, until we get those new ones in. We're going to determine which soldiers we actually keep and which ones we don't. So let's just speed up uh, time right now. Drink a coffee. Um, all right, so there's all those goodies. Um, we won't worry about putting them on the ship just yet. Come on, don't get an alien. Yep, that's great. Okay. Just hoping I get everything before we get attacked. Okay, go to base. Now, before we even do anything, let's throw in all of the scientists. Should probably kick that up to excellent. Yep, yep, okay. Okay, now, the next thing, let's look at our soldiers. Now, this is important because <clears throat> when you start getting side attacks on your guys or people start dying, you really want people with high bravery. You see this guy, Reen Marcel? He's a piece of shit. 10 bravery. Everything else actually looks great. But you're a dirtbag in my book. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to sack everyone with 10 no matter what. Just going to sack you. You're useless to me. Uh, so basically the way I set up is in the beginning I'll keep pretty much anyone 30 plus. Uh, but once I get a decent amount in 30s and people with 30 and 40 bravery, I usually throw in the back with a pistol um, and hope that I don't need to use them. But otherwise, I try to get everyone with 50 plus. So this guy looks useful. Now, I always eliminate their last name. And what I do is I name them based on what they're useful for. Um, this guy's average overall doesn't got anything too specific. He might not be, be a bad scout with such good uh, stamina. Um, the only problem is I like my scouts to have good throwing accuracy because I fill them up with grenades. So we're just going to name him a TRP, which is a trooper. Just a standard trooper. You don't got any special skills. Uh, and I do it with TRP TAC 50. That number afterwards represents the bravery. I can always, when I'm looking through the screen uh, here I or anywhere, for that means uh, I can see right up the bat what your bravery is. Uh, later on, it won't be as useful because everyone's going to basically have a bravery a high bravery no matter what I will not keep you if you don't um, but for now at least in the beginning it's important so um, so let's go to bedry um, your crap we'll just throw you as a 20 um, we will keep him for now if it turns out more people have higher stuff so there's another one um, yeah, just a trooper again, nothing special. Kind of shitty reaction time. Actually, a really shitty reaction time. So our troop 50. Um, let's go to the next one. Uh, Osiyaba. Osiya I can't pronounce that name. Um, you've got good overall. Um, ah, once again, shitty reactions again. Uh, actually, I say good overall, not great. Um, so another TRP 60. Let's see, can we find ourselves a decent commander? Um, that's too bad. Decent throwing. Um, overall, kind of garbage. Uh, we'll just throw 40. I do hear, like your reaction time, though. You'd be a good support unit. Support, oh, well, your firing actually sucks. So, Kareem, you're just a 40. Okay. Um, Suto, 
Uh, another one, we'll just throw 40, nothing there. Um, you'll be at the back of the ship. Um, how about you? Well, damn it. Why can't I get someone with decent fire and axe too? Well, you're just another trooper. Yeah, because you don't got much else going for you, so just a trooper, 60. Okay, next, uh, Kunigundi, or how you pronounce that? Your crap. Um, we'll just throw, actually, we're going to get rid of your name because it's really long. We'll just throw a 20 in there. That's too bad, too. Uh, actually, overall, pretty good everything except for that. Well, no, strength sucks. You couldn't carry anything. Um, so let's see. Onuwachi. Just another 40. Let's see, I'm going to get rid of your last name. I think I didn't do that with others, but they probably won't last long here. So, um, actually, you'd be a good scout. In the beginning, actually, you're yeah. I'm gonna do this. He's gonna be my PNT, and what that means is he my point man. In the beginning, um, I try to do point men to someone that's not horrible, a 20 or a 30 bravery, but a 40 usually because they're expendable. I don't care if someone with 40 bravery dies, no matter how good their other stats are. And he's got decent overall. He's got great stamina, so he makes a decent scout. Um, so we'll just have him as our probably our primary point man. Um, Gali, just sack you right off the bat here. Um, Catlin, actually fairly balanced, but you're a 30, so you suck. But we'll keep you. Um, same thing with you. Good overall, but 40. Uh, yeah, consistency's not really there in the naming for now, but. There we go. Well, no crappy accuracy. Um, now, I'm going to call you GTRP. Um, the G stands for gren gr grenades. Um, still a TRP because you don't got a decent fire and accuracy, um, which sucks. But because you're throwing actually of 79, almost 80, we'll, we'll set you as a grenadier. Um, let's go to the next one and shoot. Yeah, we got a crappy setup here. Um, okay. Well, we'll 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 figure that out somehow, some way. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, do we have those two twenties? Yeah, let's get rid of the. We're gonna sack these two twenties here. Right off the bat, because we're only gonna be able to fit ten people in our Sky Ranger. Once we get that uh, tank coming, we'll sack you. Okay, and okay. All right. So let's uh, let's equip our craft and set these guys up in there, and we'll set them up in order. Now we'll put the point man. You'll be the first one out the door. So we'll have you there, and then we want our 50s and 60s at the front. So we'll get you at the up there, and you, and then we'll keep everyone else in the back. You will be our basically guard the Sky Ranger squad, um, and then we'll have probably two three man squads here in the beginning. Um, as time goes on, we'll probably have two four man with uh, two people sticking behind uh, at the Sky Ranger instead of four, but. Um, I really don't want to pull these guys out. I don't have to. Okay. Actually, let's go to my equipment while we're here. Let's put that in there. Uh, the proximity grenades and all the electro flares. Excellent. Now, let's hope we get that tank before we pick up a UFO. Get the tank. Oh, laser weapons. That's good news. Let's go in. Allocate all to laser pistol. Start up that project. Okay, okay. Um, keep on going. Get the tank. Get the tank. Yes. All right. So go to the base and equip that Sky Ranger with that tank. All uh, right. No, you do it with the equipment. So let's get the tank in there, and that fills that up. Okay. Okay. Um, now we do have some money left. Let's let's get some. Oops. Cancel. Uh, let's get some more recruits. I think we'll probably be able to get a couple. Four? Yeah, four. Um, and this is to start rounding out my troops with proper bravery totals. And maybe we'll pick up someone that has a high 50, 60 that has better overall skills. So, so far, uh, anyone that might pick up as a commanding rank, uh, it's going to be garbage. So, okay. Let's hope we get a decent commander. Um... 
Let's keep on going. Come on, pick up a UFO somewhere. UFO. Damn it. We really need to get a UFO sooner is better. Uh, for money issues and, well, you don't want to not have any UFOs or any type of, if you don't have anything going on in the first month besides the first month besides the terror attack that you usually get in the last 10 days um, I almost recommend restarting because you can screw yourself in the first month not so much so in this in, uh, experience difficulty but if you're playing on veteran or higher you might want to just restart and not waste your time because you can you can really screw an entire game up just on the first month um, some people are better at getting past than others. I'm not so much. I'm, I'm not that great at this game. So um, so let's go back to the soldiers list here. Come on, give me someone useless. 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 Excellent. This is what, this is what I'm looking for in a character. I, these, are, well, the most important stats for me are bravery, reactions, and fire and accuracy. He's got it all. This is going to be Teresa... You are going to have COM 60. And COM is commander. Um, technically, it doesn't guarantee he'll get a rank sergeant, captain, commander rank. But it, it, it's, it's nice to see who the... I always give someone that has good overall rankings the COM designation. So for commander. Because um, you are commander material. Alright, so he will go probably right to the front of the line. Okay, tree, or I should say she. I keep on saying he. Uh, also, I will name people more. Um, if you want to be named someone, I will name you. I can't guarantee you're going to survive the game long term. You lose a lot more people in this compared to the new game. If you've never played the original, this game. So, FYI, um, if you want me to, throw it in the comment section. I'll name someone after you. Um, so, okay, you are my commander. Ooh, there was another one, wasn't it? Oh. Another not too shabby. Um, not the greatest fire and accuracy, but that will hopefully work its way out. Um, I haven't got any snipers, though. That's kind of uh, disappointing. Snipers, I consider anyone with a fire and accuracy of upper 60s, 70s plus starting out. Um, usually, as they go through the game, they will usually get up forwards of 80 to 90, which is excellent. Actually, I've only gotten a few 90 plusers. Um, troop 50. And next. Alright, so okay. Um, so we're going to replace. Uh, these two will probably be dropped. And actually, let's see which one we're going to only keep around for backup. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. You know, Catelyn, you'll stick around. And actually, we'll get rid of your last name just to prove that. Oh, wait, no, Catelyn, you're a 30. I take that back. Um, I was supposed to look at the 40s. So Camilla. You know, it really doesn't matter. You're all, one of you is going to die, actually. So we'll get rid of uh, Kareem and Catelyn out of, off from the bus. So let's go and equip craft. Sky Ranger. Uh, oh, also, I should probably be doing this not in that screen. I don't need to be. I keep on forgetting this is available. You can right-click on a name, and you can do all that here now instead. Um, instead of having to go out soldier screen. All right, so let's... Get rid of what were we doing again, Catelyn? You're just back up in case someone gets dies or gets injured, and we get attacked right away. And was it Hurry Hasim? Yeah, it was Hasim. So and uh, Hassan, sorry, Hassan. So Hassan, you're gone. Oops, wrong button. Uh, get you both in there. Move y'all up. So we'll put the commander back there, and Kareem, you can come up ahead of them. Uh, I'll drag y'all back to the bottom. And they'll probably be sacked. They probably will never use these guys, but just in case. So, okay. 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 And let's see if we can get a UFO here. Before we finish up this video, I don't want it to be more than 30 minutes. Ah, oh, dang it. So let's go. Be report. Great. Well, that's what that does. It's The laser pistol beats out everything in the beginning. As far I'll get everyone a laser pistol over the crap in the beginning. So we will allocate directly to laser rifle. Hopefully get that research done as soon as possible. Start project. Okay. And we're going to allocate new production. And we're going to build 14. Um, everyone's like, well, some people I realize don't build the laser pistol in the beginning. They, they just don't worry about it. But here's the thing. Even if you never end up using the pistol, 
before you, well, if you don't use them before you get the rifles, um, you can still sell these and make money. So, uh, right, allocate all those engineers. And if you do get a terror mission with the di terror disc, whatever they're called, um, the laser pistol is great because lasers are um, those terror discs, the uh, um, primary damage type that does damage to it. So, laser type. Okay. And speed up. Let's get a UFO before I finish the video. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm starting to worry now. Worry. There we go. Jesus, that took forever. I usually get three or four in the first 15 days. Um, let's intercept. Let's send out one of these interceptors. And which way is he moving? All right, so let's speed up just a tad. Uh, okay. All right, cool. He's over land. That's good news. And we'll just go with the uh, standard attack. I could probably be aggressive with the small UFO. But... All right, cool. Um, yeah, with these small ones, it's not too imperative. So, all right, let's get our Sky Ranger and let's send him out. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll pick up episode two. Um, with the actual assault on this down UFO and yeah so we'll, we'll I'll see you guys all on the next let's play of XCOM UFO defense